everyone welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you're new here i am so happy to be filming again it has felt like it's been so long it literally has only been a week um but i am just so happy to be filming um if you missed my i think it was the monthly reset i talked about it but i took a week off because i was spending the week with my mom because she just had a surgery done um so everything went really well with her surgery she's doing really really good i'm obviously home now she is good to be um like on her own again so that is awesome um but yeah, she still has a lot of weeks left for like full recovery, um, but she's definitely just doing really, really good. So thank you everybody so much for all your kind messages and sweet words for my mom. She really appreciated it. And also the other reason why I wasn't able to film was because my camera, I actually had to send away to DJI because it was doing this weird thing with the audio that it would like kind of like make this weird like robotic alien sounding noise with my voice every once in a while I would notice it and everybody I showed it to was like I really don't notice it that much like I really feel like it's like not really doing anything whatever but I was just like I don't know I just felt like I knew I could hear it and it was bothering me and like if things aren't like perfect on a new piece of equipment that I'm getting, I'm very irritated about it, obviously, because you're spending your hard earned money on this stuff. Um, so anyways, I reached out to DJI. They said that we, I could send it in. They would see they're like, if there's anything wrong with it, we can repair it because it's in the like warranty time. Um, they're like, we'll repair it or we'll get you a new one um, if it's not able to be repaired. And then they also said like, if it was something that they found out like that, like was like I did something to the camera. Like if it was like a user error, then I would have to pay for it. Um, I did buy an extended warranty on this camera though. So I would have just had to pay like a minimum amount of money, which is like nice. But regardless, it was all covered under warranty. They actually sent me an entire new camera. So I assume it was something that wasn't able to be fixed, but obviously there was something that was wrong with it. So I'm glad I stuck to my guns and I was like, I feel like there's something wrong with this camera. So hopefully this audio situation doesn't happen anymore, um, but we will see. Um, because all my other friends that I watch who use this camera, I never hear the weird audio thing. So anyways, um, but yeah. Welcome to the vlog. A little, a long little intro. Obviously you can tell I'm very chatty because it feels like I haven't spoken to you guys in so long. Um, but it is Friday, August the 9th. And of course I'm off Friday. So I think I'm going to film like, I don't know if it's going to be a full weekend or if it's just going to be today or what. Um, but I wanted to have like a little day date with myself today. Um, because obviously, you know, I've been, we've been really busy. We've been like seeing family. I've been staying with my mom. We've been taking care of other people. And like, I'm like, I just want a little day to like do what I want to do. So I was planning on just like hanging around the house and doing nothing today. Um, but I was like looking online and I figure like, I don't really have anybody around here who would want to go see the um, It Ends With Us movie because it just came out like yesterday, I think, or maybe like today is like the first official day it's out. But um, I figure like I don't really have anybody around me that would want to go see it. So I was like, let's see if there's like a matinee. So there's actually a movie playing today at 1230. So I bought my tickets. So I'm going to go see that. So that's fun. Um, so it's in like, it's not like our like main city that's close to us. It's like a little town over. So I'm going to go there and I wanted to go into winners as well because um, this weekend, tomorrow, actually, I'm going to my friend Logan's house who lives like three hours -ish away for the weekend. Um, and we're like celebrating his birthday and like, we're just doing kind of like a get together. We're doing like a nice dinner or whatever. So I wanted just to see if I could find like a cute little top to wear out. I was hoping a thrift one, but like time just got away from me this week. So I, um, I want to go check winners and see if I can find anything fun. Um, and then I also wanted to see if there was any thrift stores in this little town because there is like literally zero thrift stores in the town that we live in. And I just find it crazy. Cause like whenever I watch Carter, like she always talks about how in her small town, like her thrift stores are so good. And she has so many good thrift stores around her. And I'm just like, there is nothing around us in our small town. Like I had way better luck in the city than I do in the small towns. Like, I, like literally there is no thrift stores here. And it's like, why? I don't know. I don't know why. So I'm hoping that the town over is going to have some cute thrift stores. Even if they have a value village, I will be happy, you know? Um, but yeah, so I'm going to see, 
um, if there's anything over there. Um, Austin and I have gotten into watching Big Brother. Um, after Love Island ended, I was like, okay, we need to get something to watch. And we haven't watched Big Brother in years. Like I used to watch every single season of Big Brother. Like my mom and I were obsessed with it. And then just slowly we've trickled away from watching it because you know, like it's the same thing like with The Bachelor. We used to watch The Bachelor all the time when I was growing up. And then it just like gets to a point where it's just like, everybody just comes on here to try and get famous, whatever, whatever. So didn't watch Big Brother for the longest time. And then this season, I actually saw Gracie talking about how crazy this season of Big Brother is. And I was like, okay, I feel like I wanna watch it. So it's only like, I think we're in week three. So Austin and I are like two episodes behind. Oh my gosh, if you have never watched Big Brother, this is an insane season to watch for one. Um, but also if you were like me and you used to watch Big Brother and you loved like old Big Brother and then you like, didn't like the new stuff, watch this season. Like we're only three weeks in, so obviously don't know really what is gonna go on from here, but it is crazy. It's crazy. So we're really enjoying that. So I feel like Austin and I will watch that tonight because we have two episodes left. So we'll watch those tonight. Um, what else? What else can I update you guys on? Oh, this week, uh, my friend Maddie and I, we went to go see Lizzie McAlpine. We went on Wednesday. She was playing at the Budweiser stage, I think is like the actual like venue it's called in Toronto. It's like a really cool stage. It's like outside and um, it's like an outdoor venue, but like half of it's like covered and then half of it's like lawn. Anyways, it was so good. Lizzie was amazing. We had such good seats. We were like middle of like the 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 like group that was like just behind general admission um so we had really really good seats and i just i was saying to maddie like i loved the vibe of the concert because i've never been to a concert where like we were seated like seated most of the time um like we literally only stood up for her last song but, like that was just the vibe of the concert like if you don't know liz mcalpine she is just very just like like singer songwriter very chill like it's mostly like just like emotional lyrics driven like her music and it was just nice to just like sit and listen to her perform and it was amazing she did such a good job i can maybe put in a couple clips that i took um at the concert here But yeah, it was, it was so good. I am so happy that I went um, and I'm so happy that we were able to get tickets. So yeah, yeah, that's like basically it. So it's like 10 o'clock now. I really had to sleep in because I've just not had the best sleep all week because one, going to the concert, we didn't get home until like, I didn't get home until like, I think it was like 1.30ish I got home, um, like to my mom's. So that night was really late and then I worked the next day and then um, just like all week sleeping at my mom's and like sleeping on just like a bed that's not yours. It's just not comfortable. And honestly, like I know it sounds cheesy or whatever, but like I just do not sleep well when I don't sleep with Austin. Like it's like I just don't sleep well when I don't sleep with him. So um, all week I just like have not had good sleep. So last night it was so nice to just like be in my own bed, have Austin beside me. And like, I just like fell asleep and I was just like, oh, so nice. And then this morning when I woke up, like my alarm went off and I was like, yeah, heck no, I'm not getting up to an alarm today. <laughs> I am just relaxing and sleeping in until I want to. So 
that is the that's what's going on i'm just gonna tidy up i think downstairs a little i mean there's really not much to tidy up but you know just from last night like i mean i have my nail polish out from last night i like painted my nails i painted my nails yesterday so i like my nail polish out and then like i just have like my lunch and stuff from yesterday that i need to put away um and yeah so that is what i'm gonna do i'm probably going to leave here around i don't really know i need to look up like what time everything opens in this town because if i can like go do stuff before and then go to my movie and then come home i would probably rather that because then that way i'll be home by like 2 33 ish um and I feel like I'd rather do that than like go to a movie and then go out afterwards. So I feel like I'm just going to quickly tidy up here, figure out what's around, what I want to go hit at the stores and then I will go to my movie. But I'm excited. Um, I really like, I really liked It Ends With Us. Like when I read it, it was like one of the first books that really got me back into reading as an adult. So I'm excited to see. And I love Blake Lively. So I'm excited to see the movie and what they did with it. But yeah, anyways. So excited for you guys to hang out. I've already been rambling for 10 minutes. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be such a long video. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and then um, we will figure out what we're doing for today. <laughs> To the movie theater um i wandered around like winners and home since they were attached here um for quite a while actually and i ended up getting a few things um so i can show you guys when i get home actually i guess i can quickly show you now basically i picked up some crew socks because mine are getting a little bit dingy and i like to have nice white fresh socks for when we go to disney um also picked up some gummy worms this is for the movie right now um also found some joffrey's which normally is really hard for us to find here i don't know why all the like stores by us like or like the winners and marshalls and all that by us don't ever have them but picked up two different ones i got the not so scary pumpkin brew tried this one last year and really liked it it's um pumpkin pie and vanilla and then also got the daisy duck marvelous maple this one has maple and nutty finish so pick those up they smell really freaking good and i also grabbed this these were on sale it was nine dollars for two of them and they are just like they basically are just like the shirts i have here from abercrombie but they're black and white um just like simple thin ribbed t-shirts so they're nine bucks i was like okay well definitely worth it so i am now just gonna run in it's about like 12 10 so i have about 10 minutes to go get my popcorn and go sit down for my movie i'm excited um i don't really ever do movies by myself but i always enjoy them i always like just kind of sitting at the movie theater by myself because you can really just enjoy the movie on your own you don't have to worry about if the other person you're with likes it too um yeah so i will let you guys know what i think when i'm done um but yeah here we go okay just got out of the movie um i'm wearing these to cover the redness of my eyes <laughs> it like it was so good i thought they did such a good job honestly like I, I it was so long ago since i read the book so it's hard for me to say but like i almost liked it maybe more than the book if not more than the book like the same as the book i thought it was really good i thought they did really nice touches like what they changed about it was so good but it still should stayed really true to the original character um yeah i thought it was really good i really liked it so if you're interested to go see it i would recommend it's obviously not some like crazy blockbuster film and like nothing riveting like it was just good like i thought it was really good also when they played my tears ricochet in the movie like i knew it was in like the trailer obviously but when they actually played it in the movie that got me i was like sobbing um but yeah it was really good look i'm getting all teary-eyed right now thinking about it um i thought it was so good and i'm glad i went 
Um, but okay, I just looked on my maps and the it's like it's like 2:43 right now. And it says that there's a couple thrift stores by. However, there's not like good parking around and I really am just not in the mood to like go find parking to go like find somewhere to park. So, I think I'm actually just going to head home. Um and then that way I can just chill for the rest of the afternoon. Um but yeah, I thought it was very good. I highly recommend going to see it if you're interested. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna boogie oogie oogie my way home. Okay, I am home now. Um, I'm just going to put some YouTube on, I think, and do a little tidy because I didn't actually end up tidying before we went um, to into town. So I'm gonna do a quick little tidy up, clean up the kitchen here, like the the what's it called island <laughs> um and i'm gonna put some youtube on and yeah okay i have an issue we have so many fruit flies and i don't know why um we don't have any fruit out we don't have any bananas or anything i have like our plants but the plants don't have bugs on them it's literally just like in our sink here so i don't know if something got like washed down the sink or something but i feel like i need to like do a deep clean of the sink i also have this little like okay this is kind of gross but i have my little like fruit fly trap and it does catch a bunch of bugs but it's like there's still just so many bugs and they're all in the freaking sink and they're driving me crazy so i need to like do it like i need to like pour like stuff down the sink to like clean the sink maybe i don't know i don't know if food got stuck down there and that's why they're crowding i don't know but they're driving me crazy so i'm gonna do a quick clean um and yeah that's like that's that's it that's that's what's on my mind right now gotta gotta do this <laughs> time it is I feel like it's like maybe 7 30 I don't know um but I'm now upstairs as you can tell um we just finished watching the last two episodes of Big Brother and crazy more craziness so if you haven't watched Big Brother I I recommend um but I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and into our like game room and I really need to tidy up my desk because I just have not been motivated with how the desk is laid out and I feel like it's just such a use like waste of space so I would really like to try and like tidy it up and like possibly see if we can change up my desk somehow I don't really know how we would be able to um it's pretty structured like the way it is so I don't really think we'd be able to change anything but I'll at least see Austin also is getting in the shower so if you can hear the shower running that's why um, but yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I also have a bunch of pins to put away from like the pin event and when we went, um, to the States the one day. So I'm going to put those away and yeah, that's the plan. And then after that, I'm probably going to have a bath and read. Um, yeah, that's, that's what we're going to do. Okay. Oh, I'm yawning. Here is the desk situation. We have pins that need to get dealt with. All these need to get put away. And eventually I'm going to organize my pin books um, for our trip, but that will be another day. Um, this is a bag of garbage slash things that I want to save for my like scrapbook slash my journal. So that has to stay, but like I just want to, you know, condense it. And then we just have other garbage, you know, just random stuff like my camera, stuff I can put away. So that is what we are going to tackle now. It shouldn't take me too long. I'm just going to put pins away and then um, tidy, but yeah.
and I'm going to read um, current book right now, which is The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave. Started reading this when I was at my grandma's last weekend and I was just like, honestly flying through it, which I'm pretty surprised by. Not that it isn't good, but like, I just read online so people, like it was kind of like polarizing if it was like good or not. So um, I'm like 50% of the way through. So I'm gonna read this in the bath and just chill. And that's basically it for tonight. So I'm probably gonna bring you guys along at least for a little bit of my day tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on. I'm gonna relax in the bath and chill. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday. Austin and I just had a little bit of a lie-in. Um, well, I guess, is it? It's nine o'clock, so if you consider that a lie-in, um, we do. <laughs> but just had a little lie-in, and we saw that Brandon already posted his D23 vlog, like his first vlog. So we are going to sit and watch that this morning. Very excited to see. Um, and yeah, I was also going to say, so obviously D23 is happening this weekend that I'm filming. Um, we will have all of our like thoughts and opinions on D23 on our podcast in two weeks from when you're watching this. Well, I guess one week next week. Um, and yeah, so Austin and I are not going to talk about D23 with each other at all. Um, and we're just going to write all our notes and then we're going to film our episode and then it'll be up next week. Um, but yeah, very, very excited for that. But I'm going to make a little bit of breakfast. Um, I wanted to have eggs and bacon and pancakes, but Austin said he doesn't want to go to the store, which is fair because we don't have uh, bacon. So I'm just going to make some pancakes, I think. Cooper, just hang on one second. I don't know which ones I want to have. So we have the Kodiak Power Cakes um, with the birthday cake flavor, but this one's already open. So I feel like I should use this one up first before I try the Trader Joe's one that we got. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'll probably just make this one because it's already open. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make pancakes. I haven't had pancakes in so long. So I'm excited to have some little pancakes and I'm excited to watch Brandon's vlog. But yeah, there's not really much else going to be going on today. We're just going to have breakfast and then um, I need to pack my stuff. I need to go run to the store quickly to grab like a little gift and a card for Logan. And then um, I'll be headed out of here probably around noon. That's Um, but yeah, um, but yeah, it's a really nice drive. Honestly, it's like all back roads. So it's just all farm fields and just like easy traffic. There's like nobody on the roads, which is always so nice. So that is good. Um, I keep looking like all around me. I'm going to be driving into like these crazy storm clouds. So I'm hopeful that the rain stays away from where I'm driving. Uh, but right now I just turned and it looks like I am about to drive into like some dark clouds up here so we will see <laughs> um but yeah that is that is what's going on um I'm going to go home Austin's actually out at the grocery store right now um because it's 11 o'clock right now I left um, my friend's house later than I was like hoping slash anticipating to leave um 
which is fine, but I'm like, oh, it's, we're kind of, it kind of puts us behind a little bit for the day. So I'm, um, Austin's just out at the grocery store now. So he did groceries. And then tonight, um, I don't know if we're going to film our podcast tonight or maybe sometime this week, but we have to do that at some point. And then I just need to get back into the routine. I'm going to prep lunches for the week. Um, and I have to start editing this video. Um, so yeah, nothing really crazy exciting, but first things first, got to get home. So I'm going to be home at around quarter to one. So, okay, we are home and I'm exhausted from the ride. Right after I like stopped my clip, it literally just started raining and it rained basically my entire, like on and off my entire ride. So that was not fun, <laughs> um, but that's okay. But I am home now and I think what I am going to do because I need to, but yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I need to prep some lunch stuff. So I'm gonna make, um, ooh, look at that. Our fridge is nice and full. I love that love a full fridge but yeah I think um I'm going to prep some lunches I'm going to make myself egg salad sandwiches this week so I'm going to boil some eggs do that kind of stuff now and then take my vitamins um and then after that put on some YouTube I think watch some YouTube stuff while I prep lunches and then chill I have to edit this vlog and honestly I might even just read because I'm almost done my library book and it's due in like 10 days so I want to get that read and done but yeah I think that's the plan sorry I'm like so spacey I am exhausted <laughs> because I feel like I haven't gone for a walk in so long and like moved my legs. <laughs> um, but just got back from our walk. So I am just about done editing my vlog. So I'm gonna edit that, finish editing it, upload it, get everything all set up for it. And then um, I think I am just going to do a little bit of like content planning for the next few weeks um, because now that we're rearing into Disney trip territory, um, I got a lot of planning and like pre-filming to do, so that's always exciting. Um, but other than that, I'm just going to chill. I'm going to take it easy tonight. We'll probably watch Big Brother. Um, I might have a bath and just like chill, relax, read my book. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to end off the vlog here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed. Um, if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.